hello guys welcome to my channel for today i'm going to begin a speed sketch tutorial on a superstar you all know and i'm also going to be talking about what kind of pens will be best on your work and you should also depend on very quality pencils and more expensive pencils for your work all you need is simple pencils and just go for the most important ones for your work and erasers and the kind of paper you could use for your work and you should make sure you're going to add more light and darker effect on your works. I'm going to be using a charcoal pencil, a 12B pencil and a graphite 7B pencil to create a realistic art and schedule. I'm going to be starting right away with a rough sketch and the outlines of the work starting from the eyebrows and eyes and I'm going to be taking exactly the way it is. When you start you should make sure your lines are straight and doesn't make such a dark effect that's going to be very difficult to erase after you've done it and you should also make sure that you put them exactly at the points where your shades and shadows are going to begin and you should also make fewer lines so as not to complicate your work. It may not look pretty good at the onset but you should just focus on what your work is going to come out to be. I'm done with a rough sketch of the work and now I'm going to be moving over to the rendering aspect. Now when rendering, I'm going to start with one eye. Now making sure it looks pretty good and realistic like a real human eye and trying to create more better shades in the pupil and trying to make the outer parts of the eye and look more real and brighter like a human eye with other pencils and I'm gonna use the blending stamp to blow the eyes and also trying to make the eyebrows more darker and look more realistic and also creating the dark shades below the eyes and I'm taking my time to do this even the little girls close to his eyes try to make them look more real Maybe creating an illusion on the eyeballs and making a realistic skin below the end, making longer lines and darker shades. Looks beautiful, right? And what's so fascinating about it is when you start making your work more smoother and trying to put the hairy parts of the face and also making it look more real with your tissue paper and your blending stumps and now I'm going to the second eyes I'm going to be making it look very real with my sketches and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the second eye taking a short darker part from the eyebrows and down to the second pupil Okay fine, still trying to finish up with my renderings and going down to the nose and you know most artists found this very challenging, you know I especially don't use grid for my works, I do it like freehand, I use my eye gauge to do all of this, so I do with my nose, I just try to use my pencil and my eye gauge to get everything into the fitting position for them, so how going down to the nose and be creating some effects down there and still rendering some part of the nose and the body I'll be using my blending stump and graphite pencil this kind of graphite pencil is a kind of hard pencil it's used for the lighter part of the sketch and also to make the work look a bit more sharper than it used to be for the darker pencils and now I've created the bears to look more brighter and darker with my charcoal pencil and also the lips making it look more realistic and now I'm going down to the hair I'm 
I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna help you. For every line you draw, you make a thicker line beside it that's gonna create a darker shade. This is gonna make it look more realistic than you ever expected, and you're gonna draw some more scattered and scribble lines around the hair that's gonna make it look more better and like realistic human hair because that's your aim when sketching a beard man you do well to avoid applying much pressure on your paper to avoid it tearing or having some swollen parts now i'll be using my charcoal pencil to sketch the shirt and make it look darker and realistic so that's it guys and that's how we came to the end of the sketch for today and it's looking pretty beautiful i thank all of you for watching and following me up watch out for my videos for next week this is what i came up with this week thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel vegan daniels arts thank you have a nice day